The story of Lapis, also known as the Queen of Sheba, can be found in the Quran, specifically in Surah and Namal, chapter 27, verses 20 to 44. According to the Quran, Bilqis was a powerful and wealthy ruler of the kingdom of Sheba. When the prophet Suleiman, Solomon, sent a letter to Bilqis inviting her to Islam and to submit to the worship of Allah, she received the message with interest and curiosity. She sought advice from her advisors and ultimately decided to visit Suleiman to investigate his claims. Upon arriving in Solomon's kingdom, Bilqis was amazed by the grandeur and splendor of his court and the things he possessed. Suleiman, on the other hand, requested that Bilqis not consider their wealth and power as a display of superiority but rather acknowledge that everything they had was a blessing from Allah. Suleiman then presented a challenge to Bilqis, asking her to identify her throne among a group of thrones. Bilqis initially believed that this was impossible, but Suleiman had the power to bring her throne to him even before she finished speaking. Witnessing this extraordinary display of power, Bilqis recognized the greatness of Suleiman and accepted Islam, acknowledging that Allah is the only true God. The story of Bilqis highlights the importance of recognizing the blessings of Allah and submitting to His will. It also emphasizes the power and wisdom of the Prophet Suleiman, as well as the unity and strength that can be achieved through faith and submission to Allah.